It's a story that's gone viral pretty fast. Caltrain manager and contractor are now facing felony charges accused of using some $50,000 taxpayer dollars, by the way, to build their own personal apartments inside two Caltrain stations. NBC Bay Area's Emma Goss spoke to the San Mateo DA and Caltrain about the case and what consequences these men could face. The first apartment was built here inside the historic Burlingame Caltrain station. The other in Millbrae. Both facilities are not being used by the public, which is how they were able to go unnoticed for so long. It's a crime that baffles San Mateo County's district attorney. There's no explanation for what they did other than they took advantage of a situation and used uh, our taxpayers' dollars to do it. Joe Navarro, formerly Caltrain's deputy director of operations, and Seth Warden, a contractor working as a station manager, are accused of spending thousands of taxpayer dollars to illegally convert closed down Caltrain offices into their private homes, complete with showers, heating, and security cameras. Particularly the one in Burlingame, they did the nicest job on. They spent $42,000 to put in a um, a shower, a bed, a kitchenette, and it basically made it a mini apartment. The DA's office declined to share photos of the two apartments. Both men had homes of their own, yet Warden lived in Millbrae's station between 2019 and 2020. He was eventually discovered during a station inspection and promptly fired, according to the DA's office. Navarro allegedly renovated and occupied the Burlingame station between 2019 and 2022, when an anonymous caller tipped off Caltrain. The transportation agency then reported the matter to the DA's office, which began investigating last May. The two men are accused of working together on the illegal homes. Warden hired contractors to do the remodels, and Navarro approved the expenses. The invoices were small enough not to raise alarms, according to the DA. Because uh, Mr. Navarro was in management of Caltrain, and their rules were that uh, any invoice under 3000 does not require higher approval. Mr. Navarro could approve it, and that's what they did. Warden, the contractor, was arraigned in San Mateo Superior Court Wednesday and pled not guilty. Navarro is due to be arraigned at the end of April. The charges come with maximum sentences of five years in state prison. In Redwood City, Emma Goss, NBC Bay Area News.